Good morning, my name is Elise and I'm totally obsessed with my luxury garden. Come along with me as we garden and watch a little bit of golf. In today's video, I'm gonna be harvesting carrots and I made a big mistake with these carrots because I ran out of time and I didn't thin them. And as a, if you're a beginner gardener, this is an important thing to do is to thin out new carrot seedlings because they need space to grow and have enough nutrition to extract from the soil so they need space if they're put too close together it causes problems but if you're a beginner gardener you don't really know what the problems are so I'm going to show you an example of exactly what happens because I did not thin my carrots I have a two-year-old and a, a large yard that I care for by myself so it just kind of got pushed to the back and never happened a little bit of background on the carrots that I was growing these are not coreless well I'm actually still growing them another several batches on root because I've grown them at various stages so I would wait about a month in between each time I put out the seeds so that I have batches of carrots to eat throughout the summer and into fall. So you'll see through the video as I harvest them that the carrots are horrendously ugly. They still taste amazing. I've been using them in my cooking but this is what they look like when they haven't been thinned. So this is like one, two, three, four, five seeds that were all too close together and they just kind of grow into this ugly mixture of a carrot. So it's nothing like you'd see in the grocery store but I don't mind too much as far as eating these. They're still good. They're great in cooking and this one in particular has been sitting in my fridge for about a week I'd say. So they've held up really well. They're still very firm and um, I'm going to be using this probably tonight in a meal. So yeah, these carrots have been great for storage so far. For any beginner gardeners, thinning just means that you, if you have four or five little seedlings all in a row, you just pluck some of them out so that they have more space. And that is the step that I left out when I was too busy this spring. So all you need to do is just randomly pick some out so that you have some gaps in between each carrot. A couple centimeters or a couple inches is enough. They just need a little bit of extra space to grow and have that nice carrot shape that you normally see, cylindrical shape that you normally see in the grocery store. Another thing I should mention that I've shown in a few of my other videos, the fertilizer I've been using this year for the carrots, it's called Big Ass Carrots. And this is 100% organic. You can see on the bottom here, 100% organic and the ratio on here and pk is 193 it's specifically designed for carrots and these have worked so well this is one of the smaller ones that i did pull and again it's not as big as it should have been because i didn't thin them and it's still you know it's still very very big i'd say this is you know six inches it's bigger than my hand here and it had these nice big greens on top that i've cut and put in a Ziploc bag and I'm freezing. So I've been super happy with this new fertilizer that I've been trying and um, although it's specific to carrots it can be used on many other root vegetables. I've been using it on my beets, asparagus, K like I said is 193. So you know for a beginner gardener those numbers don't really mean too much but they are good for carrots beets, other root vegetables it lists on the back here, several that can um, benefit from this. So I definitely recommend this, especially for anybody in Canada because this is um, made in Canada. A few things it says on here is that there's kelp inside and works great with other root vegetables. Crisp, savory, best, and that is true. So now I'm going to show you me harvesting these carrots and near the end of the video I'll also show you a little bit of what's happening on the golf course behind my property. So I'm just getting over to the veggie beds here. Wow, you can see so much growth in just a few short months, especially because I planted everything late. And this here is the patch of carrots that I'm going to harvest. I'm not going to harvest all of them because we just eat for our family and that would be way too many for dinner tonight. But I'm going to pull up a few and see how they're doing and how big they are. You can see in the background some golf carts go, uh, going along golf carts and then wow look at this smoke. 
Normally you can see a view of the lake and the mountains, but there's just so much smoke from the fires here in BC. It smells really bad. So I'm going to quickly get these carrots harvested and bring them inside because tonight we'll have some for dinner. I'm close here and if you take a look, wow, you can see a huge one right here is just ready to go. So I'm going to pull these biggest ones here that will also give, oh wow, this one is ginormous right here. Hopefully that you can see that. Let's see. There, you can see they're very, very big. Like, I'm gonna say that is an inch and a half wide. So these have been very happy and they're ready to come out. So let's pull these up. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. That is a weirdly shaped one, but still useful for dinner. Wow. That is bizarre. Okay, let's see what's next. Oh, this one's so weird too. <laughs> you would never sell that in the grocery store, but for home cooking and harvesting from your own veggie beds, that is perfectly fine. They smell amazing. And I'll use these carrots, the carrot tops in soup. Okay, this one's looking ginormous. Oh my god. Wow. That is two inches wide. Wow. Oh my god, I'm so happy. I'm gonna put my hand there so you can see the size comparison of how big this carrot is. Oh my god. Okay, so I have three so far. I'm going to pull some from the middle over here because they're way too crowded, which is why some of those carrots look bizarre is because I never thinned them. I just didn't get around to doing that. We've been super busy this year so I missed out on thinning them so that's why they kind of grew funny like that and didn't quite have enough space. Okay, let's pull this one. Oh. Wow. That is a huge carrot. Homegrown organic. Smells amazing. Check out this amazing carrot harvest. These look so good, they smell good, and we're gonna have them for dinner tonight. Barbecued low and slow is amazing with a bit of honey, butter, oil, salt, and pepper. You gotta try it. <laughs> I know. Oh, did they get planted too close together, maybe? Yes. I didn't thin them. Oh, well, they've got a size of this one. I know. Here we are overlooking the golf course. Someone on the fairway here about to hit. And off they go. So if you've made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for coming along to garden and watch a little bit of golf with me. I hope you learned a little something about uh, growing carrots and how to harvest them. 
Have a great day and happy gardening.